And today we are going to visit again uh, Mabru Power Systems and uh, we are going to speak with uh, Nicolas Mabru uh, uh, about those units and we are going to talk and uh, specific about a uh, unit, a uh, self-contained unit DC powered produced for Mabru. Today the batteries produced for Mabru, those batteries, is a lithium ion phosphate. Those batteries are magic. They store us a lot of uh, amps for a long period of time. With those batteries, you can run an equipment 7000 BTUs, a full, full, full uh, RPMs for four hours. And I saw also that uh, those equipments uh, depend of the battery, and the battery depend of the inverter charger or battery charger. But you don't need, like in the past, uh, inverter dedicated for the air condition system. What about the new inverters? So new inverters, we're talking about um, the new inverters. We made a lot of a lot of jumps on true sine wave technology uh -huh. um, or pure sine wave technology, however we want to be calling that one. But it's really a clean wave, and what we're able to do is we're able to do a generator replacement. Yeah, system. generator. That's the secret. That's the, that's the solution. And, uh, and you integrate the air conditioning equipment with the generator. Okay. As far as the as far as the generator, I would say if I'm going to have a generator in the boat, I would not have a 12 volt system. Uh huh. I would have a 115 volt system. Ah, okay. You prefer the AC e equipment with the generator. Yes. Perfect. Unless I'm dealing with a situation where I have a very small generator for a lot of loads. Correct. And I need more efficiency on the system. Uh huh. At that point, we want to look into how we can become more efficient. Correct. So some boats don't have the space for a generator, but they really want a generator, or they don't want to run the generators for a significant period of time. We have customers that want to sleep at night with no generator running, but they don't mind running it through the day. Right. So they'll have a lithium bank, they'll have a generator, they'll use their generator to recharge the batteries, or they'll have a solar Correct. array that Correct. will recharge the batteries. Correct. The generator is used to recharge the batteries. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember some years ago, uh, some manufacturer, they sell the solution uh, an air conditioning equipment DC volts with the group of batteries, but the problem was the group of batteries. And after that, they, they sell a solution, an AC uh, air conditioning unit, AC power, 240 volts with inverter, but the, the inverter drains the batteries uh, easily. Uh, no? So it's a combination. Once again, it's, 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 we haven't had this level of integration. Uh -huh. The issue of the systems of the past and the 12 volt systems of the past is that we're talking about a simple on off compressor, um, either piston or rotary, uh -huh. it has very high peak starting amps. So when that first hits, it's taking the batteries down every time that compressor has to come on because we're going almost triple the the, um, the running amps of the, the unit the running, every time yeah. it starts. Uh -huh. Then once it's running, it's drawing a lot more power. A 12,000 BTU, this same unit that we make in 115 volts, draws more than double what this unit draws just running oh oh really and these units don't have peak starting amps they start slowly ah, ah okay okay i can put one battery so let's say on this unit it's four hours so we'll call it two and a half times so let's say i put three of these batteries and we'll say okay i'll have the same runtime well in theory yes the problem is then we go to the recharging. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for an alternator to keep up with a 44 amp charge, a 44 amp discharge, I'm sorry, it can handle it. Most alternators of today, whether we're talking about Yamaha, whether we're talking about Suzuki, whether we're talking about Mercury. Mercury, yeah. They can handle that kind of punishment over an extended period of time. Uh -huh. In other words, I can integrate those air DC air conditioning equipments with my outboards, with the alternator of those outboards. Or yeah? your inboards, exactly. Or inboard, exactly the same. Oh, wonderful. Uh, because the alternator, they have the capacity to recharge those great batteries. Yes. So to look a little bit more into that, what we can do over here, We're gonna switch to DC amps. DC. And we're gonna look at what the unit's running right now. 27 amps DC. So 27.8, and here we're running at full speed. I'm not running a pump right now, so we'll add an extra two amps for that. So we'll say 30 amps. Uh-huh, 30 amps, that's correct. Here we have our new color touch display. 
So when we look at the display, we're gonna go up on the temperature. So I'm set right now for 65, so I have yeah. a very big difference from right. the ambient temperature right now to the temperature I'm set for. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to now go up a little bit and I'm gonna bring this to 75. 75. If we look at the amperage, I've now dropped down to 22. Yeah, down, 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 down. Oh, okay. Okay. So the idea behind this unit is that the unit will almost never be shutting down. It's another demonstration of efficiency. Absolutely.